Good morning, guys and girls. So here is your sketchbook assignment for this week. We're going to do something a little different. We're going to be doing some lettering. I know if you guys took an art class with Miss Deadluck last year, whether you did art one or watercolor or set design with her, you probably did a little bit of this because I know she incorporated a lot of lettering in her art classes. But here are the instructions. They're fairly simple. So you are going to pick a word. Try and pick a really cool, unique sounding word, a word that you have always just kind of liked the sound of. I picked euphoria for my word. And you're going to fill up two pages in your sketchbook with that word in different font and lettering styles. There's so many different options for you out there. So the first thing to keep in mind is you need to fill up your whole page. Try to draw your letters too, instead of just simply writing them. You can just write a few of them, but I hope you guys um, know the difference between writing and drawing the letters. Make sure that they're really big and they're really thick. You can change the size of some of them. If you look at my example, I have some that are really big. I have some that are a little bit smaller. And then I change the direction of some of them to hopefully try and fit some of the just try and fit as much as I possibly can. I did have one little random open spot that I didn't feel like I could fit another font style in there. So I just drew a little Luna ball from Sailor Moon because I'm me. <laughs> as far as how many letter styles you have to have, I'm going to say anywhere between 15 to 18. I think I ended up with 18 for mine. But if you did 15, 16, 17, that should be plenty enough for me. The main thing is that your space is completely filled up. I would definitely play around with color for this sketchbook assignment. You can go minimal for your color choices if you want. Like if you just want to use gray or if you just want to use purple or if you just want to use green, that's fine. If you want to do a color scheme like I did, I did a teal green, a pink and a purple color. You can totally do that as well. Um, it's completely up to you. I would definitely try to add some little details to some of your lettering. Um, you can do that a lot of different ways. You can do that by adding like drop shadows, or you can do that by adding little white lines with a white gel pen, or you can even do it with just a black marker. Just find different ways to make some of your letters detailed and unique and interesting. So here is what I would actually suggest. There are two websites. There's actually a bunch of different websites for these, but there are two that I use frequently. I use Font Space and then I use dafont.com. I use these websites all the time for my art class. So let me just show you what you can do. I'm going to switch my little viewpoint over here real fast. So if you go to fontspace.com, so let me show you fontspace. The thing that I really like about fontspace is there's so many different styles of fonts to choose from. You can click on styles and just kind of pick one of the categories that's interesting to you. You can do Gothic, typewriter, they've got old English, they've got 1960s, you can pick a decade, vintage, medieval, sci-fi, futuristic, <clears throat> Greek, you can also do something holiday related like Halloween or Easter. So I'm going to just pick calligraphy for right now. Now here's what I like about this particular website. There is a little box right here and you can actually type a word in there and see what that word looks like in all of those different font styles. So let's type in my word that I picked, which was euphoria. You can type your word in that little box and scroll and just look at all of the different styles of what it looks like. So this is a really helpful website to give you some ideas for your lettering styles. And that's pretty much it, you guys. They're going to be due at the end of the week. Take pictures and upload them to Kidum. I cannot wait to see what they look like. You guys have been making some really amazing things. Let me know if there is anything you need or if you have any questions. And if not, I will see and talk to you guys all again very soon.